Okay, here we are. We're going to cover how to set up the gains on the gyro. The very first thing I'm going to have to do in my radio is I'm going to have to tell, I'm going to have to reprogram the port that I use for the radio. Because right now, since I plugged it into a, a gear channel, uh, and on my radio, the gear channel is a two-position switch. As you can see, I can only go between hold mode and rate mode. I don't get the wonderful cortex in the off mode. So we're going to go into the radio here. I'm going to go into the system setup. Go into channel assign. This is for the DX9. Go over into the channel input config and we're going to highlight the gear where it says A <clears throat> and we're going to wiggle the switch that we want to control the Cortex with. In my case, I like to use switch E. <clears throat> this is the same switch I use for the 3SX system. So I'm used to flipping this switch for the mode. So just wiggle it real quick. And as you see in the menu now, it's changed to E. Hit that. Hit list. And back to the main screen. Okay, so now, as you see, if I move my Cortex or my switch, I can control the Cortex mode. So here, switch furthest away from me is hold. Switch in the middle is off, switch closest to me is right. Uh, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to reverse this switch because for me, being a helicopter guy, I'm used to when everything uh, is normalized, I'm used to all my switches being away from me. So since all my switches away from me, I'm used to that being normalized, I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu here and go to servo setup, go to my reverse, and I'm going to go to my gear channel, reverse it. So now, as you can see, the Cortex is in right mode, and then middle position off, closest to me hold mode. You can leave it hold mode away from you if you, that uh, is how you want it. So to set up the Cortex the very first time your gains, a lot of people think that because it's a gyro, they go into the gyro menu and they start playing with the gyro and they're trying to figure out the percentages, everything. Um, the easiest thing about the Cortex is you don't have to mess with that. You just come in here, you go into your servo setup, and you go into your travel, travel menu, and you only adjust the endpoints for the channel that you're using, the servo endpoints for the channel that you're using to control the Cortex. So as I said, in my six channel receiver, this is going to be my gear channel. So I just come into my gear channel here. So my fr switch is away. This is rate mode. I'm going to take this down. Twenty is a good starting number. And for hold mode, fifteen for a starting number. Now, now I'm going to go. Out, I'm going to fly another plane as. I would on any normal day and then I'm going to come in here to the menu and I'm going to just adjust the gain for the cortex up as I'm flying it until I see oscillations. So I have here in rate mode I'm going to fly the plane as fast as I can fly it whether it would be full throttle down line or full throttle straight and level, if that's the fastest you'll ever fly it. And you're going to just take this servo endpoint travel value and adjust it back out until you start seeing oscillations. And once you see the oscillations, say I'm adjusting it out and I hit 70 and I see oscillations, I'm going to take it and back it down two clicks and leave it. And then you do the same thing for your hold mode flip it to the hold mode and then you're going to just simply adjust this up until you see oscillations again. The hold mode you may see oscillations earlier than you would with the rate mode so it was not uncommon for your hold mode gain to be lower than your rate mode. Again the gain in the gyro the easiest way to adjust it is just to go to the servo endpoints travel for the channel that you're using to control it and just adjust the endpoints of the switch. 
that's all you have to do. You don't have to use the gyro function in your radio. All right, and that's a video on how to set up a Cortex inside a plane. And all you need to do now is go out and fly the plane. Uh, I do have other videos for those that want to be able to still have Expo when the Cortex is off and then have little to no Expo when the Cortex is on. That's another one of my videos I show you how to do that. Thank you.